Welcome to the Melinda Awards. The Melinda Awards is a uh, sort of awards show, our own little personal red carpet for books. We read the um, young adult novels written each year, and this is sort of where we recognize the ones that we felt had their own special characteristics, like maybe a really great character that we all loved. Um, shall we call some people? Sure. <coughs> wow! Oh my, oh my gosh, it's an angel. <laughs> Hi. So, what are you? I'm Ava Lavender. Who is Ava Lavender? Ava Lavender is from the lovely book, The Strange. Stars, <laughs> Ava Lavender. Did she knock over things with their wings a lot? No, they pulled it up conveniently. <laughs> what do you really like about um, that book? I really love the way it's written. It's very poetic, and I can see exactly what the author needs to say. Leslie Walton. Oh, look, look. Look who's coming out to the red carpet next. Oh my gosh. I thought he was dead. <laughs> 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 Who are you? Sherlock Holmes. <gasps> Who's Sherlock Holmes? Who is Sherlock Holmes? I'm not Sherlock Holmes. Yes, you are. I am? Yes. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. What do you think of that? And what have you deduced about the books here today? That most of them are really awesome. Actually, all of them are. They're all great. Do you have a personal favorite? I personally love the Scar Boys. What about it? I think that the characters were really well defined and very realistic. Do you have a particular favorite from amongst the cast? I think my favorite would have to be Harry. Would be Harry? Nah. No. It's disappointing. What about him? Do you find very appealing? <laughs> I found that um, his character, to me personally, it was it very much hit home with me because he had uh, some personal struggles that were very realistic and very true to me and. It was very well executed. So fantastic reasons. Thank you very much. Thank you. Who's coming now? I'm Richie. I'm Kaya. And I'm dressed as me. <laughs> and you're dressed as <coughs> I'm and I'm just kind of winging it right now. It's totally cool. <laughs> What were you, some of your guys' favorite books this year? I really liked uh, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. What about that did you like? Well, I liked the style of writing. I thought it was very unique and it like related to, I think, every teenager, especially a teenager girl. Um, I liked Billy Dean because I liked the, the voice in it and how it was written. It was actually really cool. And it has an awesome cover. <laughs> it really does. Do you have any particular favorites in terms of character? Mm -hmm. Besides for Ava Lavender, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think is going to be the best of the best up here? Um, I think it's a tie between Grasshopper Jungle and The Strange and Beautiful Sides yeah. with Ava Lavender. Can you tell us a little bit about Grasshopper Jungle? Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's about a boy who's struggling to find um, his sexual preference, and um, in a very quirky and science fiction kind of way, he discovers who he is as an individual. So, it's a very beautiful. unique perspective. It's very awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Evening. I'm pretty good. It's fantastic. Yeah. What do you think about some of the books up here? I love most of them because I have not had the chance to read all of them yet, but Fine. that will happen. Um, and I have to say my favorite is The Strange and Beautiful Stars of Ava Lavender. That seems to be an overall favorite this year. Yeah. I really enjoyed the development of characters and I thought it was a very interesting plot and the writing style was absolutely beautiful. Who do you think, uh, which book do you think is going to win the most awards tonight? Um, I think.
think Ethan, uh, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender, and Grasshopper Jungle. So. Seems that they're going neck and neck this year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very interesting to see the outcome. Yeah. Who else is on the red carpet? Hi, Caroline. Hello. How are you? Doing pretty well. It's great. Yeah. What, what about these books do you like? Well, they're all excellent books put out by young adult authors this year, and I'd have to say that one of my personal favorites is And We Stay by Jenny Hubbard. It is, um, it is written in prose, but the character is discovering herself as a poet and frequently refers to verse to try and express herself. And she does a wonderful job of this. Jenny Hubbard, and therefore her main character, is a wonderful, wonderful poet. The poems are really spectacular and really added to the scope and the depth of the entire book. I'd recommend it strongly. Sounds amazing. It is. Uh, did, what was your favorite character from the book? Um, my favorite character would have to be the main character herself. Her name is Emily, and she begins to relate with Emily Dickinson. Mm -hmm. um, she was trying to grasp a tragedy and trying to struggle through that and find who she was after it had happened. And she was really written spectacularly well. What was it about her that spoke to you? Really the way that she dealt with everything and also the way that she had to sort of craft a new identity for herself after her old life um, through some events was kind of decimated. Thank you very much. No problem. about Ava Lavender. We need something else. How about Noggin? What is Noggin? Noggin is a story of adventure, true love. Wait, wait, that's Princess Bride. Um, Noggin <laughs> is a story of life and death and then life again. Ooh, that's intriguing. Yes. So the idea behind the book is the main character died a couple of years ago and he agreed to a procedure where he would have his head chopped off cryogenically frozen, and maybe eventually, let's say, oh, centuries from now, okay. come back to life. It's old centuries. Yeah. Comes back five years Yeah. Oh, oh. So, yeah. <laughs> and it goes from there. It is a truly wonderful book. It does get into sort of what it means to be human and what is life, sort of. Um, how would I describe it? Is coming back to life really coming back to life, or is it a different life entirely? Oof, it's deep stuff. Thank you. <laughs> what about the characters in this novel spoke to you? Oh, let's see. Um, they each have their strengths and their weaknesses, so they feel human in that regard. Um, Travis Coates, the main character who had the whole coming back to life thing, has, has to put up a lot of, he really does have to put up with a lot of that humanity, including his own obsess obsessive tendencies, so to speak. So yeah, sounds, sounds amazing. I can't wait to read it. Yeah, you should. Do you see any strong contenders for this year's Melinda Awards? Um, given what I've heard, I have a feeling that a lot of the awards are going to go strange and to Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Dave Lavender, but I think we'll see a few dark horses. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm dressed as me. Nice. What do you think about some of the books up here? I love most of them, actually. But I think I should point out some attention to Scar Boys. Okay. I have to say, it was a really phenomenal book. What about it spoke to you so much? First, it was the plot. It was very unique. It was a boy who had scars from lightning. Mm -hmm. And then he had to deal with his life through high school and beyond and he was trying to find himself, who he really is. And I think the music in this book added a lot to its meaning, and I personally love music as well. So that's why I like this book. I think it was having a great writing style as well. 
Okay. Which awards could you see going to Scar Boys tonight? Well, I could definitely see a best cover award perhaps, because the cover's pretty good. And maybe a lifetime achievement award, because I thought this book was extremely good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Someone prompted me into. She kind of pushed me a little bit. <laughs> she also pushed me into my stockings because you can't buy one pair, you have to buy two, apparently. You want to push next. That was all you. <laughs> a little bit. So, what can you tell us about the book set here tonight? Well, they're all very original because that's something we all seem to appreciate unanimously as a group. And they all stand out in some way. There's, whether it's a girl with wings or a guy who did not want to slay dragons, but he's now stuck doing that. They stand out. What's this dragon book you're talking about? The story of Owen. Ooh, what's that about? The guy who has to nail slay dragons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds very interesting. It is. Which books do you feel are our strongest contenders this year? Well, I'm partial to the dragon story because I mean dragons. So, <laughs> but we definitely are partial to the strange and beautiful sorrows of Ava Lavender and A um, Hundred Sideways Miles, Noggin. We're pretty much partial to all of them. <laughs> so, we have a very strong selection this year. It's going to be a tough race. Mm -hmm. I don't think we'll have a blowout like we did last year. Thank you, Frank. Thank you so much. Well, hello there. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> ah, we forgot about it. Oh, no. Yeah, I know, but no one talked about it, so I guess it was fine. OK. <laughs> well, how are you doing, David? I'm doing absolutely fine. How is your read? I am doing fantastic. You want to know why? Why are you doing so well? Because you're about to give me the microphone. <laughs> I don't think so. You sure? I'm positive. There's chips over there. Oh. 